Hello everybody, Larkin and Omega here. Welcome to my modded Factorio playthrough. Um, if you're checking this out on YouTube, this is going to be episode 11. Um, I batch record these live on Twitch, so come check me out at twitch.com slash Larkin Omega. Um, I broadcast pretty much every day from 4, 4.30, 5 ish Eastern till whenever I stop, usually an hour or two after that. So let's get into it, shall we? Um, I reworked just a couple minor things. Um, didn't mean to, but did them anyway. Basically just rebalancing the bel belts here so that they'll, they'll uh, fill up double um, pretty quickly. As you can see, we've got copper building up. We're not researching anything, so that's why we're getting it built up. But we kind of need more iron income. And I'm going to set that up right over here. I believe um, we... We... Well, <laughs> okay, I say that, but we desperately, desperately need to rework the power. Right now. Um, because this is unacceptable the way it's set up. Um, and it's blocking me from actually doing stuff the way it needs to get done. Yeah, so that one cuts off the miners. So what we'll do is we'll just get that set up there. And then there. And then there. And we'll pick you up. And connect you up right We got one connector right there. We can put one down right there. Okay, so now we can pull these up. Way too many basic poles. I made way too many back in the day, but it's just copper and wood, so not a big deal there. Um, probably burn them up in the first car. So let's put this one down right there. Um, we did not have enough power for this, so that's one of the things that we need to solve. Uh, which means we need more boilers, which means we need more iron. Which means we need more miners, which means we need basically more iron here. So, um, let's get that going. And since this is backed up into the research building, we'll just start grabbing all the backed up, yeah, all the backed up iron from there. And it looks like I grabbed a bunch. So let's make up some electronic miners. Eight sounds really, really good. Uh, we're gonna make we're gonna make a ton of these later, so none of these are going to waste. Now, I know I wanted to get the electric stuff set up first, but I can't do that until I've got solid plastic production. And I can't get solid plastic production without solid mining. So we're kind of at a, an impasse right now. But we're going to solve that real quick. Grab some more because I'm going to need some belts. I guess I could just go in and grab belts. In fact, that might be the better way to do it. I'll hold on to some of this iron. Uh, we do need extra inserters too, so... Not a big deal there. We'll just hold on to the extra inserters. All right, so we need to just mine iron. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and set it up with a decent gap in between. I think I'm not gonna put a gap north to south, but I am gonna put a gap um, east to west. We don't need to fully saturate the uh, whole thing. So now we're only missing those two there, which is fine. We didn't use up that much um, by way of miners. So we can bring this over. And one thing I need to do is I'm going to need to put a splitter, which will actually be a joiner. And we're going to put it right here. Oh, I picked up an iron ore. Make that into a joiner. Um, and all that will do is it'll join the belts evenly. So we're just going to bring this straight over and then straight up. 
probably don't have enough belts for it, but that's okay. I'll make up a bunch with the iron I've got. Um, we could use underground belts. They do stretch away, and I've got some extras, but I'd rather save those, uh, to be honest. And we need to get steel started producing again soon. Um, because right now we don't have any. But again, I'm kind of waiting on electric furnaces and having the ability to actually make them before... And I need the steel to make them, so it's kind of... You know, kind of pointless, but whatever. We'll get there. Could make the steel furnaces. Um, but again... Uh, that takes steel to make, and we don't have the steel right now, because we don't have the iron. Okay, so there we go, we've got that set up. So this will hit four miners, and this will hit four miners, and then we just need to connect there and there. Alright, and we have more than doubled our incoming ore, so how does it saturate the belt? Pretty good. Um, pretty good belt saturation coming out of there. We could add, looks like, almost twice as many, plus three. So we could have 16 on one of these belts, um, and it wouldn't fully saturate. But what's going to happen is when it gets to the other end, they're going to have to insert and make it work. So we are going to get some backup, but that looks a lot better. Um, still not reaching the end of the belt. There we go. Okay, so here we go. We don't have enough processing capacity now, and we've got a backup, so that's good. That is definitely good. Um, we can start researching again. because I. Th think yeah let's start researching again let's um oh what's a good one to research tool belt hmm no I can't even do that because I don't have alien um substations would be useful but that takes blue uh concrete I never much used concrete Electric engines might be good to go with. What is this? Resource monitoring. Useful, but not right now. Advanced electronics gets us to robotics, effect transmission, and rocket silo. Um, I kind of do want to start with the bots. Just to get to automated construction. You're, you're only green tech, so we could go with the bots. Um, inserted capacity bonus would be nice. We can start with that. Two, three. Yeah, we can start with the first inserter, inserter capacity bonus. Advanced oil processing takes blue, which means we need the purple setup. Um, we need sulfuric acid to get to the blue, so that needs to be added. Uh, red rounds, the piercing rounds could be good. Grenades are good. Um, Flammables, that's the new uh, flamethrower stuff. Rocketry as well. Um, just bonuses to the shooting. Gun turret damage bonus. Uh, electrostatic shield equipment. Oh, we've got modular armor picked up. Power conduit. Allows direct power transfer between power grid and modular armor. Um, I do want that. Okay, so first things first. Things that I absolutely want to get first. Oh, we kind of need lights for lasers. And solar energy, which is just green but takes plastics to make. That's right. Uh, no. We can just get solar power now. All right, so... Yeah, you should have gotten researched a while ago. Okay. So, things I'm going to research. Light and solar, so we can do some alternative power production. 
Um, oh, laser drill. That's cool. We can start getting laser turrets. Um, advanced laser defenses from one of those mods. So that's nice. And it should take all the upgrades here. And the late game upgrades are really nice. Yeah. Late upgrades because it just stops at six. Okay, cool. Um, flamethrower damage. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do light and then we're going to do solar energy for sure. I uh, can't do you. Oh, and we want to do robotics, right? Um, which is you to robotics. Okay. So we'll just grab. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, we need flight. Yeah, we do need flight and lots of stuff for robotics. So we'll just cancel all of this. Oh, well that's useful. Um, we want to grab solar. Let's grab solar. This light is only red circuit. Solar is 250, so we might push that back a little bit. Um, the energy pump, that's what I wanted. That was one of the things that I was looking at, right? That won't take very long to get that researched. Oh, inserter stack size. We want to get one of those. And power conduit management. That's right. So let's go ahead and throw up inserter stack size. And then the power conduit management. Let's grab this gun. Start that researching. Um, and then we'll throw on solar. We'll put the inserter capacity bonus down a little bit. Because these are all 10, 50, 100, 200. Yeah. I mean, we want to get it but we don't want to overburden ourselves just yet. Automobilism. Yeah. We need to grab robotics at some point, but for right now, it's, why are we doing? We need sulfur processing anyway. Uh, it'll take a little bit. So, we'll let that go and we'll just use the Q. So, if I want to do robotics, I need a lot of stuff. Batteries. There's robotics. Yeah, robotics needs a lot of stuff to get it unlocked that we don't have yet. But all this stuff is we stuff we need to advance anyway, so blueprints are gonna be great. Okay. Um so getting on with it. Uh we need a lot more iron. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more iron. We're just gonna grab this because look at this. This is backed up a good bit. Um we probably want to put this together and get a couple more while we're waiting. So we'll go ahead and grab a couple more stone. And then we will go, what is it, one, two, three? Let's go ahead and make five. One, two, okay. So I'd have to move this over two more. Let's go ahead and put two on for now. And if we need to move it, we're gonna need Two reds. Um, put you there and move you over to here. Uh, continue the belt down to here and then this belt down to here. And we will do this. Oh, shoot. You're grabbing iron. There, 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 and there, and there. 
And there. And there we go. We probably finally have enough iron input. Um, copper looks like it's doing pretty good, to be honest. For what we're automating right now. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the electrics. Because then I'll, what I'll do is I'll split this coming off, send it on either side, and then the electrics can just grab it and compress a belt in the middle. And we'll just do that all the way across for each one of these, because I'm pretty sure it can fit. Oh, I'll have to play with it and see. Um, okay, so that's good. We've got not enough iron in our inventory. We need a chest that's just filling up with iron. We need to put in some more power gen. Yeah, because this stuff is now starting to burn more and more. So we do need a couple more. Two, three, four. And put those in right there. Um, and then if we want to, we can get another um, another line of these going. So I'm pretty sure this water pump is producing way more water than I need at the moment. Yeah. So we can probably get that to feed, feed two of them. There we go. There's additional power right there. Uh, do we want to go ahead and get that set up? I think we do. Also kind of need to set up a buffer for coal. Um, Which wouldn't be too hard to do. Chest. Oh, insert a chest. Insert a belt. Yeah, insert a chest, insert a belt. We could do. We can't do it south. Okay. Um. Yeah, we might need to set up a buffer. I don't know. We got lots of coal coming in, and we're not using... Well, we are using a good bit of it. We do have a lot coming in now. Anybody been knocked out over here? No? And we're doing fine there. Doing fine there. Pulling from you, though. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're doing fine for coal with just those deposits. Um... I think setting up another line of power gen might not be bad. So we need 14 of those. So... Three, four. I'm going to go ahead and get that started. We need a lot more steam engines, so we're going to need some more iron. I really need to set up like a chest where I can just grab this. Um... Yeah, you're working along. Now that it's saturated, it doesn't have to work so hard as it was. Oh, I need a little bit more iron, it looks like. Yeah. I'm going to make that up. We can set this up, and we're going to need to set it one away. Because we can put inserters in between these to feed them. So like this. It'll just grab from the first line to feed the second. Um, now, we don't want to mix the water here, but that's okay, because we want to put the engines down far enough away, like that, <coughs> that um, we don't have to worry about it too much. And we're going to put the pipes here, and we're probably just going to bring it down, because I think I can just fit enough right here. But I have to wait for them to build. I'm not making part pipes right now. Yeah, we got enough space. Awesome. So the underground pipes don't mess with it, and I'm glad that I did that like that. Um, so we're going to need 
probably all of these. You know, let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's see. All right, one, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and make another five. I kind of don't like having too many pipes, but you know, it's gonna happen. So I really hope that this provides enough water. If not, there is room to put up another one, but it looks like it's doing it. Yeah. Looks like it's providing plenty of water for all of this. So yeah, without squeak through, um, I'd probably need to put in an underground pipe here to get past it, but, you know, with, well, I couldn't put an underground pipe there to get past it because of this pipe, so I'd have to offset it by one. But this all fits, and I can get past with no problems. Um, I should go ahead and set up a buffer chest. Do I have any wooden chests sitting anywhere? Oh yeah, you can get picked up. I don't need you right now. Um, we can throw away this. We can throw this on the belt. We can put you in here. And then we've got one wooden chest, so let's go ahead and uh, make another one. And all this will do is it'll buffer for the... Um, pick this up. And then we'll put them in the buffer chest. So, let's see, what was I saying? Chest there. And then chest. Hmm. So the only issue with the buffer chest is that I want it to be able to. No, that's pretty easy to do actually. Uh, we we'll just have to bring. Yeah, we just have to change up the outside a little bit. And then. set it up correctly. So there and there is where we want it. Um, we want it to come in and then what we want the chest to be able to do is to grab and then chest insert her down chest, chest, over, and then we put an inserter here, here, and here, and then we just run this over and down like that. Okay, and now we're running out of coal, but that's okay. We put this here, and we put you there, and then that rebuilds all the coal. And now we have a buffer chest system that I can expand a good bit. Um, so let's go ahead and get that set up so I don't have to worry about it later. And then we'll move that down like that. Hi, Daddy. Throw in the coal. Hey, kiddo. I'm streaming right now. So can you go in the other room? Okay. Love you. Okay. Close the door. No. 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 <laughs> so we get this coal buffer set up. Um, I can't really expand it because I can't. Well, I could bring it down and put another chest so that way I can just grab from it. So, um, yeah, that would work. I could even put an underground right here, I think. Yeah, that would stretch just enough. I might do that. Pick this up, put an underground belt here, there, and then bring this over and up. So we don't have to worry about going around the side of the water. Yeah, and that'll build up whenever it gets um, 
Whenever it gets back to being backed up again, it'll start building up a buffer for me to use. That's not bad at all. Okay, it looks like the stream is experiencing some issues. Um, how are we doing? Okay, so that's good for episode 11. Um, we did a little bit of tweaking at the extra ore setup. Um, and got the power situation handled. We are now producing... Uh, a lot. 2.5, and it looks like we've got... Um, capability of almost 10. Over 10. Over 10. So let's, real quick, let's hook this back up and see if it causes an overload. How is our power? Yeah, three. So that was the problem. We didn't have quite enough um, earlier. But for right now, it looks like it's working out pretty well. And we'll let this run for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> these things suck power. But it should be good. We're building up a little bit of plastic. Some rocket fuel. Well, solid fuel, not rocket fuel. And, yeah. So, I'll be back in a bit with the YouTube audience and with the Twitch audience. And, yeah. There'll be episode 12. So that's it for episode 11. I'll see you next time.